Hi folks, uh, Sunday, um, April 7th, I believe, back in the garage again, finally, uh, been tough all week, I haven't spent probably more than two hours here, <clears throat> all kinds of other stuff trying to deal with, anyway, um, got this thing back installed, I mocked up one more time, I think, I'm hoping the last time, got to, uh, Put the radiator in it one more time because Scott spent a whole bunch of time filling all the holes here that we don't need. Remember, there was a big, there was probably a two and a half inch round hole and uh, another hole where the petcock drain came through. And now that we moved the radiator to the forward side of the core support, those holes kind of got half buried by the radiator itself. So... Here I am, before I send this out to get finished, I need to recreate those two drain holes. Um, actually, not two drain holes. I need to recreate one here for the petcock drain. And down on this side somewhere, where the overflow comes out of the radiator, that's got to have a hole down through that pan as well for that drain. So what I'm going to do, you can see I tried laying this out with measurements, with dimensions, and because of the curves and all that stuff, it's tenuous at best. It's really hard to determine if that's accurate. So what I decided to do was put it back on the chassis one more time, uh, hang the radiator in there so I can measure or look right, right off the actual radiator itself, never mind dimensions. Sometimes you overthink this stuff and it leads you right to a trap. So here we go. This is what we're up to today, amongst other things. So oh, got the 57 uh, pieces from... Um, Four-speed conversions, the little um, uh, pivot plate that goes on the, the pedal end of the spring, of the return spring, and their return spring, and the little uh, piece that uh, the upper end of the return spring attaches to, the 57-only piece. It's a heavy, thick, heavy, bent piece of wire. I put all that on there, adjusted the linkage arm on the pedal uh, uh, where you said it should be what was it 38 degrees aft of the pedal center line and um, adjusted the play on the throat bearing so you know it's close it, it just not not turning the bearing when the engine's spinning uh, and it works perfect so thanks for all the help see you later bye Well, there's another small step. Got some black paint on that. Not very important, but it's just some finish that's, you know, on the metal. See the package tray got done. And this whole back area got done. I didn't do any of the floor. We're going to be crawling around in here, I think, some more. So I didn't do the floor yet. Just did the area where I think I'm done. The trunk on the other side of that cardboard there is done. Mats in it and everything. So again, another small step. Anyway, bye. Hey there. Well, it is Saturday. I don't remember. What's the date? 14th? April? 14th? Something like that. 13th? 14th? Lose track these days. 
So we have made quite a bit of progress this week, as you can see. If you watched the last video, some of it backwards. A whole bunch of stuff is gone that was on there before because it was on there just for mock-up purposes. Um, so the progress I'm talking about is getting a lot of this stuff off the car, dressing it, making sure it's all in good shape, the holes that we don't want are patched, the metal edges are all straight, all that good stuff, and getting it ready to bring for finishing. We're going to bring it down to the powder coating place. You see there's a fair little stack here. There's another stack over here. See a lot of this stuff is going down there. Can't bring these. Obviously, I got to paint this stuff because of the, you know, the grease inside of it and all that good stuff. But uh, the center link is going. The clutch hardware is going. Not this, obviously. I got to paint that. Can't cook the rubber. Uh, the spindles are going to go. I got to remove the hubs off of those. Obviously, not the brake lines. The um, Transmission cross member is going to go. All that stuff is going to go and get powder painted. So these, some of this stuff already is powder painted. Like I said, we had it assembled on there. Just to make sure it all worked. So, uh, like I said, I've got the mock-up motor out of here, as you can see. So now the motor mounts need to get welded in. They're just tacked so far. We started working on the firewall. We see you got some of the lumps and bumps and stuff out of that area right there that you're looking at. Got to do some patching up here. The witchy wiper motor is no longer there. It's underneath the dash now. And a whole bunch of those other holes. All the stuff you see circled in red is going to go away. See? Going to get filled. And what you see here that looks like rivets those are um, carriage bolts that I've put in there and faced in so for mounting that temperature or heat sound insulation pad that goes on the inside of the firewall there the kick panel and the firewall I think mostly the firewall and on the inside painted that area Remember it was all primed? I patched the uh, the um, package tray. The holes look like they were cut with, that's that's other older videos. You'll see if you look back, that's the holes look like they were cut with a hatchet for the speakers. So those got patched a while back and this area got cleaned and primed. And I just put some paint on it this week. You can see this stuff. We bought this stuff from a place in Southern California that I don't want to promote, so I'm not saying the name. And uh, they're already powder painted, so they're dusty right now, but they're already finished. Those won't go. So anyway, uh, time now to start doing some more welding here. Patch all these holes so that I can bring the finish forward. i got to clean the frame one more time. You see we started a little surface rust here and stuff. So this all needs to get re-cleaned and prepped for paint. And uh, move forward on that. So you see there's some more stuff going to the powder painting shop. All of that stuff on the floor. The exhaust is gone to the same place, but uh, they do also do ceramic coatings. That's what I'm going to do on the exhaust. But you can see it's got to get welded first. Right now it's... Um, only you know, fitted and tacked. Uh, all those joints have to get completely uh, welded all around, perimeter welded around the, the tubing. Um, I've got to cut one of them. I've cut to put the um, stainless tail pieces on the ends of the pipe. I cut one of the tail pieces and one of the pipes, and then the cutter on the tubing cutter broke. The little we cutter wheel on the tubing cutter broke, so I'm waiting for a new one. In fact, it's supposed to be here Monday. Um, the tail pieces are stainless, and when you try and cut the stainless, you can't mount the, 
the the tail the little finish piece you can't mount it in the vise because you're going to uh, uh, scar the finish and if you do tape it and mount it in the vise then the tubing cutter won't turn because it hits the vise so what you do is you mount the cutter in the vise you tighten the wheel where you want the cut and you turn the the pipe the tubing the problem with that is as it starts cutting into the stainless and you're turning the tubing you're wobbling the tubing a bit so it puts an awful lot of pressure on the cutting edge of that wheel and just as it was starting to cut through it started breaking i think the wheels are cast if i'm not mistaken but at any rate it started breaking the um, the edge off the cutting wheel and it, it cut through the material but it ended the process when i cut through the first piece so like i said that's that's I got to do that before I can send that out. Here's the headers. The headers are ready to go, obviously. And they're nice. Those are, I think, Doug's headers. They're really heavy. Real impressed with those. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, I started on this. Not, not, much, not much to say about that, but you can see I started dressing the harness. So anyway, that's it. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching as always. Bye.